Hey, what's up guys? So I actually just tracked my macros for the second day and then I'll show you what I ate and then I'll kind of explain how I made the food. So pretty much I planned out to eat this bottom card pretty much. So I got like a packet of ground beef, um, broccoli, shrimp, garlic, a tablespoon of sesame oil, tablespoon of cayenne pepper, 50 grams of uh, chicken bouillon. I'm gonna cut it down to 30 because when I put 50 in there, it was kind of salty. So I personally don't like things too salty. And then I added a, a can of sardines because it's like 22 grams of protein. And I, yesterday my, my carb level was low, my protein levels was low. So my energy was super low. Um, I walked this morning for a little less than an hour. I walked after work for about an hour. So pretty much, here you get the ground beef up. I put everything in a rice cooker and it's mad easy to cook. Here you just get the ground beef, it was frozen. It's like $5 at the 99 cent store. It's normally like $7. Um, I noticed that gas prices went up a little bit. So uh, <laughs> I'll probably go back to the store and buy all of the blocks. So you have your ground beef, your broccoli. So the ground beef was $5, the bag of broccoli was $2. Shrimp is $5. Um, garlic, I put like uh, two bushels of garlic. I think it's like a dollar or a dollar fifty for four. And then uh, sesame oil, cayenne pepper, the chicken bouillon is like a dollar. Cayenne pepper is probably a dollar. And this, a can of sardines is one dollar too. So the, this is what the food looks like pretty much. It's like super basic. And I would say that if you could cook like the chicken bouillon and then the beef, cook that first. And then after that, um, put in the shrimp and then put in the broccoli because the, the beef, it takes longer to cook. And the, the broccoli and the cauliflower, it doesn't take that long to cook. So and it depends if, if you want it a little, little crispier or if, if you want it soggy, super soft. That's up to you guys. So I, I pretty much weighed out what I needed to weigh out. It's kind of a pain to have to track everything, but if, if you track everything up front and you get an idea of what you're gonna eat in a day, it's easier to stay consistent. And then uh, next time I won't have to, uh, to calculate and weigh things out because then I'll have an idea of what I'm doing. So I'm, I think this garlic, it came out to like maybe a hundred calories and keep in mind the garlic is a spice. So sesame oil, you could get this from an Asian store. Cayenne pepper, I got this from the dollar store. Chicken bouillon, same thing, dollar store. These sardines, it, it's in like a sriracha sauce, so it, it kind of tastes good. It, it's not like fresh fish off the grill. It, it's just like easy peasy, right? You just pop the can open and you eat it. But I'm pretty sure if you warm this up, it would taste good. So I had a couple pickles, or one pickle. It doesn't taste good, but it doesn't have calories in it, really. It's just a filler. And then these olives, I didn't I didn't eat these today. Garlic, the beef. So it's 80% lean, 20% fat. That's probably why it's cheap, because it doesn't have as much fat in it. So that, that means it's not going to taste as good, but it is what it is. You, you just get whatever is in your budget, whatever is the cheapest. Going to give you the best bang for your buck. And then vegetables, you, you could either buy like fresh vegetables or you could buy them bagged, pre-cut, or you could buy frozen. That's up to you. Frozen fruit or fresh fruit. Normally the frozen stuff is more expensive, by the way. But if you buy fresh stuff from the 99 cent store, you have to check to make sure it's not molding up, it's not bad. So it, it's up to you. It, it's whatever is more convenient to do for you. And I would say that probably took me like 15 20 minutes to put it into the rice cooker and get it cooking the the garlic and the shrimp took the longest to prep and maybe you could get shrimp without skin on it maybe you could get garlic that's uh, already peeled it's up to you it's more money if you get it like that but it's convenient though but it, it, it is kind of annoying to cook you know because then you have to go get the food you have to cook it prep it you have to clean. It's a, it's kind of a hassle versus if you just go out to Chipotle. So I actually only ate half of this stuff.
I was supposed to eat all of it, and that's it. But then I, I was just like, ah, I just want the Chipotle, and then I got two bowls. So I actually, I ate around almost like 3,000 calories. So that means that I have to work out for like the next hour to try and burn like some of it off. So um, another thing that I was thinking was these tortillas, they're mad big, by the way. And normally when you get a super burrito, they give you these big tortillas and it's like 210 calories just for one tortilla. So I would have to cut these in half or only eat like once a day for, for these. And then one avocado is like 240. So it would be like 450 if I had an avocado with a tortilla. So no, normally I would think that that's not a lot of calories, but it is when you calculate it up. So keep track of what you're eating so that you can hit your goals. Alright, now let me know if you guys have any questions. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, I, I just wrote down, um, I downloaded that, that my plate application for Android. I'm pretty sure they have it for iOS too. Because uh, um, my fitness pal, they charge you now. They charge you money to use their product. So if, uh, if, if I wanted to lose like a half a pound in 20 weeks, 26 weeks, then I'll be on 2,242 calories. But if I was on the extreme side, and keep in mind that you don't have to be on one um, setting the whole month, you know. You, you can play around with it and shuffle it up. So... Just say, for example, if I ate around 300 calories or 3,000 calories, that I could just go lower tomorrow because then my glycogen stores should be refilled. Versus this morning, I was just like super tired and I was out of it. Even like last night, I just ate once last night. So I actually ate breakfast and that's it. I didn't eat after that, so that's probably why I was super weak. But yeah, just, just play around with like your, your proteins, your fat, and your carbs, and your, your calories because it, it will take time. It's kind of like a puzzle. It's like a, a game where you're, you're, you're trying to hit like your target and it may be perfect. It may not be perfect. And I was thinking that normally I don't take supplements. I don't take protein shakes, but now I, I can understand why they do it because it, it's kind of a pain to eat. In all honesty, the... Uh, eating, it's not enjoyable anymore, like, while I'm doing this stuff, so. Oh, well, we'll see. If, if, I, if I like doing it, then, then I'll stick with it um, ap after this month, but we'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll try my best. Because <laughs> I, I actually weighed myself this morning, and I was looking pretty good, so. It's like, dude, you want to eat a lot, and then look like trash or do you want to not eat a lot and then look good but then maybe you might not feel as good either it's a balancing act all right i'll check you guys later have a good night